Hey guys, Flack Monkey here, and today I bring you a special review of a server I've been playing on for a couple of days now called Flatcore. Now, this is a slight twist on the typical Flatcore servers, well, not servers, but Flatcore challenge that people do. So, it does have the standard bedrock, two lots of dirt, and then one lot of um, grass. So, it is the classic flat. However, it's got a few changes, and I think that makes it all the worthwhile. Uh, so hopefully you guys, you know, watch this video, there's a couple of other people reviewing at the moment and I recommend you check it out for yourself because there's nothing like it. So, get food first, hunger will kill you. We are on a hardcore server and the it is set to hard. So, and hunger's been buffed. So you starve almost instantly. It is, you know, so once you, yeah, hunger's gone your health just drains away like crazy. So take wood and cobble and make tools so you break down any structures you find and you can. And uh, what else we got? Other necessary items can be found. So instead of having um, villagers with blacksmith chests, they've got loot structures. And these are admin place structures. So you've got a logging camp, for example, which has um, saplings in it, uh, can have tools, Farmstead can have food, um, saddles and tools. Uh, Manor can have diamond, emeralds, it can have uh, iron and also enchanting books and buckets. Then you have graveyards which are hostile, so mobs spawn in them. You have armor, obsidian and keeps where you get diamond um, tools and weapons and you get um, gold. And they're also hostile, so you've got to sort of be careful of those two spots, but the other ones are pretty good. Now, the chests restock quite regularly. Um, the mana is every 36 hours, and the farm and logging camp, I think, are every 24, but they could also be 36 for the more rare items. Um, and the keeps and graveyard, I don't know, but I assume they're at least above the, the 36. Um, yeah, so I think they're 36 hours, um, or at least that. Now the other change is the nether. So the nether is also very flat, um, which is, in, it's very strange to see a very flat nether. Um, they've got something called boreholes, which are basically what you see here, um, which go down um, into the ground, and they're basically caverns, and that's where you get a lot of your resources. The nether does have villages, where you can get things like mushrooms and they have villagers running around in there. Uh, pigmen are angry by default, so it's no longer a case of if you aggro them, they are constantly aggroed, but they've been modified so they're basically now zombies. So their aggro range has been reduced and they walk slightly slower and they don't all carry a gold sword. Um, and the next change is wither skeletons can now spawn outside of the fortress, um, and I don't think those ones drop skulls. Um, but they can also be equipped with a bow. Um, and then you've got, you know, um, basically large sort of towering fortresses which are very hostile and they have stuff as well. So that's kind of cool. It's a nice change. Uh, the nether's also 1 to 4, not 1 to 10 like the normal one. Um, they have area protection on your house. So here, Jimmy protected his house. And Timmy didn't. So Timmy's is burning and Poor Timmy. Oh well. Alright, so how do you protect your base? <clears throat> the very first time you put down a chest, you'll be giving a 9x9 nine nine border, which is surrounded by gold and glowstone like this, you can see. Uh, and anyone, that's to the bedrock and right to the very top of the height. So anyone who walks into this and tries to hit will get a message saying, you know, you don't have Flak Monkey's uh, permission to use this. So. <clears throat> Um, the way you extend this is you get a bone and you right click it and then you right click to move it again and you just keep extending it. Now the way you extend it is because every hour here on the server you get more blocks. You can also get blocks by doing challenges. So you can see here the second challenge for today um, is creating a smooth stone generator 
um, with an on off switch etc um, and then you get two points and as you do that you got ranks and you get more and more blocks that way so that's kind of cool then you go through this uh, this is a tutorial you spawn in by the way um, so you'll see all of this as you come through it yourself so what we have here is just a little tutorial to make sure or trivia to make sure you understand what's going on so what do you get first well obviously you don't get diamonds and gems first because you need food and you need some way to defend yourself uh, where can you find loot normally you would do that in a blacksmith on a normal vanilla world but they don't exist so obviously it's in loot structures and what do you use to make a tool to edit claims well we learnt that was bones bang okay so what can we do in flat core well you get all the blocks and the items and you make an epic base so just like you will with skyblock you're going to need a cobblestone generator as soon as possible so food wood and a bucket is required um, iron golem farms are legal to have on the server and they're encouraged and that should be your third thing to go for and then after that you look at you know getting redstone off villages making a portal to get to the nether and um, doing farming and all that kind of thing okay so death this is a hardcore server but unlike with a normal hardcore server you're not going to be banned from the server permanently or just kicked what happens is you go to a place called limbo it's in the end um, and it's actually quite well done you have multiple choices one you could log out which is what a lot of people do and really I don't see the fun in that but it's an hour so you log out you come back in an hour and you continue playing um, you can sit in the limbo area and just chat because the server people are very friendly and you know, they're helpful and maybe you can ask for bits of advice or you can find out where their base is to meet up with them the other thing you can do is try and do challenges to escape early so I've got things like a death pit which you have to get level 20 um, and then reach a flag area before um, you die and it all resets another one is they got this massive parkour section which has like 11 sections or something and um, that's another way you can sort of get out so if you think about it um, some people do the death pit in as little as seven minutes whereas I've seen other people um, have talked about the parkour in about 15 or 20 minutes so it's up to you how you want to sort of do it um, I don't recommend just logging out because there's no fun in that uh, and what you'll see is a lot of people chatting in the chat will say RIL which is you know rest in limbo when people die they're a very friendly bunch and I recommend you check them out now mobs have been buffed a little so creepers deal massive damage up to 27 hearts so yeah, these guys can one-shot you if you're not careful. Endermen can teleport to you, so don't hide under blocks. Um, some spiders have potion effects, and this one is invisible, so you can just see his eyes. Be wary of that, I've been caught out already. Uh, baby zombies can outrun you, pillar up and strike from above. These guys are the bane of my existence in everything, um, and now they're even harder, so yeah alright so time in the overworld is currently sunrise oh nope it is in the afternoon okay um, oh that's fine let's just go hit the crystal spawn in alright oh, I have spawned next to the graveyard okay that could be interesting so this is one of those hostile places that we talked about that you really probably don't want to be in but you know what? Why not? I'm gonna go in. Uh, hello, hello. I'm not here to raid everything. Chest can only open at night. Mm. Well, the sun's only just under rays, so that's probably a bit, bit of a waste. Me being in here. So yeah, I'm in position. Uh, permission. I do not have to be in here, but that's okay. So this is uh, one of the graveyards. So let's have a look at where we are. 4,000, 4,000. Now I've been here for a little while and my base is nowhere near here. Um, but there are lots of structures and lots of um, cool things sort of going on. So what you want to do is when you first spawn in the world, you get two minutes of invincibility so nothing will attack you for the first two minutes of the game. 
I mean, it's not much of a break, but it is a break. The next thing you want to do is sort of scout out the area and just have a look of what's around. So you're going to be attacked by slimes in the day. Um, at night time they will despawn. That is so that the this room for the hostile mobs to spawn in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is... Um, see, I don't have this guy's permission to loot any of that, so that's protected area. Um, yeah, so the first thing you want to do is just try and run around. Uh, don't sprint until you get food. Because, um, yeah, hunger is huge on this. Uh, and just sort of see if you can find a village. And if you can't find a village, just see if you can find a um, any point of interest that you can sort of get supplies. Because you can kill cows. Like, you can just punch a cow to death. Um, bom, bom, bom. There we go. Uh, and you can eat the raw meat. Now, if you find only chickens, be careful of eating a chicken because you can get sick. Uh, you can also find other camps, so like um, the lumber camps, for example, or the farmhouses. The farmhouses have a furnace. So, provided you found a piece of wood or some charcoal, you can use the meat to cook and obviously it'll last a lot longer than eating it raw. But, you know, just to survive, you're getting there. The next thing you're going to want to do is get enough wood to make a chest. Now, as soon as you get anything of value, so if you get uh, a sapling, a bucket, or something like that, or you come across a really nice village that hasn't been claimed and you want to sort of set up shop there, place your chest straight away and then um, yeah, place your chest and then straight away what you want to do is um, drop everything of value in it because if you die you lose everything uh, and then just sort of explore around as best you can and if you know for some reason you die oh, take a screenshot of where you've got your chest because you won't spawn back at your base you'll spawn somewhere randomly in the world and um, you'll have to run back which is always fun uh, but you know it's a necessary evil so I'd do that um, and that's probably the best bit of advice I could give you is get supplies get a base camp going get yourself saved in the location and the coordinates of your base and then just talk to the community they're a very helpful bunch um, nobody has cheats, nobody is in a pay to win mode everybody is super super friendly and they're more than willing to help out you know you may have to go for a big epic run to get someone so there you go commander sea land ril rest in limbo they're a very caring community here and um mature as well i mean they don't have an age limit as such but the requirement is that you know you're mature so you talk in all capitals um you, you know you scream obscenities of people you will be kicked you will be banned and frankly you know that's fine by me um, but, you know, if you be nice to the community, you know, you show respect, and you try and help people where you can, they pay it back in, you know, tenfold. So, do yourselves a favour, load up flat core, see what you guys think, and just give it a go. Because if you can make it in a flat core world like this, or even like a skyblock world, there's nothing Minecraft can throw at you that you can't handle. So, Anyway guys, if you do decide to play flat core, um, flat core, please jump on the server. If I'm on, say hi Flack and you know, come meet me in my base. Um, I'll help supply you up. So the coordinates for me is, um, I'll put it in the description below, but my base is at um, X450, uh, Z minus 3400. So it could be a bit of a run, but you know, I can get you guys sorted. I've got an iron farm, I've got a... Um, cobblestone generator, um, I've got some farmland so I can get you food, I can get you some you know, tools and stuff and sort of get you sorted but if you just feel like going on your own feel free to pop in and say hi and yeah enjoy the community. As always have a fantastic day and look forward to seeing you. Flack Monkey out.